The idea here is you know, what Michael Chapman is seeing with these beautiful structures of these viruses. Structures of viruses are completely unique. And that's where a lot of the tools come from, is how can we use understanding these structures. Nature's nano machines, really, that's what these viruses are. They're nanoparticles that are, are nat natural. Um, understanding how the, each of the individual pieces of those get put together. We're looking at, at where atoms are and uh, how they interact, trying to understand how one might manipulate those interactions. Just in the last few months, we've got the first structure of how an antibody would recognize this uh, virus. And um, for an antibody that neutralizes this virus, we find that it uh, binds on this sort of plateau that's on the side of the spike here. And that's the kind of thing that Michael Chapman's working with. He's looking at that coat, how it actually protects the virus genome on the inside, the RNA or the DNA that's on the inside, but at the same time allows that particular DNA or RNA to get inside a cell when you have an infection. So it's a really interesting kind of engineering problem. You have to have something which is really stable on the outside, Yet, as soon as it finds the right place to be, it's going to be really unstable, but it's got to release everything that's on the inside. We're just beginning to see the, the use of these viruses as delivery vehicles for people that are suffering from genetic diseases. So it's, it's a real exciting time. A year or two ago, the first studies came out where uh, human volunteers who suffer from a congenital blindness had uh, this virus, with a, a bit of DNA to correct that disease, injected into their retinas, and some of these patients have seen an improvement in their vision. There was a news report on the radio about a lady who had gone to her daughter's softball game and, and seen softball for the first time. And then another very exciting study was published in uh, December, where six patients have been treated for hemophilia B. A year and a half after the treatment, they're still uh, uh, producing the protein that's, that's needed uh, without any other uh, pharmaceuticals, so they've been taken off their usual uh, medication regimen and are doing just fine following this single treatment now 18 months further on.